Welcome back, fashion enthusiasts. Julia Stegner is another model that has a high profile in the world of fashion, but is rather unknown outside of the industry. At first, she had a hard time being a model. In the beginning when I started, like one and a half year ago, I didn't like it that much because I started right away, like I started and it happened like right away. I haven't been home anymore. I, I just, I was just traveling and I missed my family so much and my boyfriend and my friends because you're not used to it. Usually you're home, you went to school and suddenly you're away. She landed her first job for Elle magazine back in 2003. That same year, she opened the show for Yves Saint Laurent's Fox collection. The same looks she wore on the runway were featured in the ad campaign. I agree with her the models should be more present in print and advertisements. And I think it's time for them to come back and get the covers back, get the campaigns back from all these actresses because it's actually a model job, it's not an actress job. <laughs> she was the Ugo Boss house model for several years. She has been the face of Maybelline and Mercedes-Benz and designer campaigns for the likes of Celine, Dolce & Gabbana and Dior. Caroline is another Brazilian bombshell who is not as famous as some of her colleagues. I feel good because, I mean, you all know each other from Brazil already, so it's like all friends, so it's good though. Each season is more and more Brazilian girls. She has a professional attitude towards modeling. You have to do your job the best that you can do. And it's not an easy job, but it's not a bad one. You can't complain about anything. Caroline has been on the cover of many international fashion magazine covers from around the world. She has also worked with fashion houses like Valentino, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, and Yves Saint Laurent, to name a few. Caroline finds it bittersweet to be a model. The good thing is that you travel a lot, you meet like different people, and you get to you get old really fast in your mind. But in the other way, you miss home, like you're always alone by yourself. But it's good anyway, it's a great job. Inguna Butain concludes this video. She believes there's more than just beauty in order to become a successful model. It's more like about even the personality of the girl also, because I think it's very important. They have to know which look is going to gonna fit for this or that girl, how she walks. I mean, so, like, personal thing. She has also been in dozens of important fashion magazine covers like Vogue and Harper's Bazaar. She doesn't like fashion. I don't care really about clothes. No, I hate shopping, and I when I have to do it, I'm like, no, I hate it. I, I go for like all day, I try to find something, I don't like anything, and so, so I don't like, I don't know, I don't care so much. She has been on campaigns for Dolce & Gabbana, Vince Camuto, and Yves Saint Laurent. 